Hey, mailman! Here's your stupid PS5! I assume you want to get started on destroying it right away like with the Xbox? Uh, no. I actually want to keep that and play with it. But the Xbox! <laughs> what exclusives would I play on that? Skype? So you're not gonna destroy this? Nope. So you're telling me Reddit is an unreliable source? Can I just have my PS5, which I will proudly display on my TV stand? Thanks. I'm keeping my eyes on you. I'm so glad he didn't know about the second PS5 I ordered that's coming later today, which I am gonna destroy. <sighs> What's this? An email from Amazon? We're contacting you about your order of PlayStation 5 consoles to let you know in advance that you may not receive this item on the day it's released due to high demand. Now I finally know how my viewers feel. <sighs> Recording. <sighs> hey guys! Welcome to Board Smashing PS5! LIAR! Hey guys! Welcome to Board Smashing PS5! You guys have no idea how long I waited to say that! And now, I can finally make the voices in my head a reality. Let's boot her up. Puis appuyez sur la touche P. The arrow buttons are placed on the left side of the controller. I'm not a child! Continue with the screen reader to Turn off! Uh. Mm, uh. I'm feeling like a beetle today. Yes, big brother. I'm home! And that's about it. First up, wow. Now this is a next gen controller. So sexy. I just want to do so many bad things with it. Did I just say that out loud? All right, now I have to make this controller ugly to shut the voices up in my head. And what better way to do that than with the Gamer Rage test? Looks like all the buttons still work. So in terms of durability, it already beat the Xbox controller without a single scratch. Try number two. Three, two, one. I don't know what that says, but it looks like it says controller disconnected. It did shut off. Will it turn back on? Yes, it does. Still don't see any damage. Try number three. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, yep. Some damage. Finally. I think we can pop it back in though. Okay, I can't, cause the plastic snapped right there. And right there. I got most of it popped back in. Will it still turn on? Yes. And it's connected. Number four. Three, two, one. Something flew somewhere. Controller disconnected. The L1 button landed directly on the PS5 box on the other side of the room. Nice. And the controller itself. Seen better days. Turn on. Yes! Controller connected. Try number five. Three, two, one. That time, it stayed on and stayed connected. Some debris fell out of it though. And I have no idea where the other bumper button went. I actually haven't tried the buttons in a while, so let's see. F 
face button seem good? D-pad good? Joystick good? Yeah, I'm just gonna say it's all good, it's still surviving. Six, three, two, one. Disconnected. And for a good reason. Well, at least I don't have to figure out how to take out the battery now. I swear it still works. <laughs> oh god. Ooh, that joystick is not working now. Buttons still working. Joystick working. D-pad working. We'll die on lucky number seven. Three, two, one. Yeah, disconnected. What do you expect? Oh yeah. The battery disconnected and I don't know how to plug it back in, so it might be dead. Unless if it still works if I plug it into the console. I saw orange lights flash. None of the buttons are responding now though. So yeah, the only life it has is some flashing orange lights, so I'm gonna have to call it. But even with all its built-in tech, it still beat the Xbox Series X's controller, which has basically nothing, by a lot. Plus, it's nice not having to chase around AA batteries when they fly out. Now it's no longer sexy. It's just average looking now. Well, we learned a lot of life lessons from that. So, let's move on to the main course. Because this thing is so hot and sexy, I want it inside of me. Oh no, the voices are back. So, I gotta kill my brain cells with another unfunny and overused joke. I got one. You'll never see this one coming. PS5 looks like Wi-Fi router. Okay, good. The voices have stopped, since I'm now brain dead from saying that. But the PS5's looks are still wanting to make me do inappropriate things with it. Uh, so I guess I have to make it average looking too. Ah. Let's revisit the punchline of my joke. What can I say? Only the best for the best. Nag, nag, nag. Nothing's changed. Ah! The Xbox joke works so much better, so let's recycle that one. Ah! Just kidding! Ah! Thing's got a bulletproof shield. Let's see how it does without it. Just fine, apparently. Oh, power cord came loose. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why must all next-gen consoles be mini-fridge proof? Okay, last one, and then I give up. And the HDMI cable was just loose. Okay, I give up. HDMI, power, no beep. Okay, it's dead. Giving up never fails.
let's put the console wars to an end. Because they both died in combat. Time for cremation! I would say the PS5 and its controller was way more durable than the Xbox Series X and its controller. And so with that, thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys late. Is that the mailman again? I don't remember ordering anything else. Wait, why do I smell poverty in the air? I'm done with being a character.